When one thinks of fairies, colorful and friendly little magical creatures often come to mind. But in reality, the origins of these entities include a much wider and darker range of beings. In Celtic lore, there is a great fear and respect for the ancient creatures known as the Fae. While there are many kind and good-willed Fae in Celtic lore, known as the members of the Seelie Court, there are also their darker and crueler brethren of the Unseelie Court comprised mostly of the unsanctified dead. Today we'll be taking a closer look at some of the most deadly and aggressive fae in Celtic lore. Please forgive any mispronunciations, Gaelic isn't my strong suit. Number 10. Jerig Day With a name literally translating to Red Bloodsucker, you know this can't be good. Jerig Day is said to be a vengeful female fae that seduces men before draining them of their blood. She wasn't always this way, however. It's said that in life she was an extremely beautiful and kind young woman who was well-loved across the land. She was from a well-off family, and though she could have chosen any man, she fell for a peasant. Her father would not accept that, and instead married her off to a cruel older man with an even greater fortune than his own. This man was incredibly abusive. He locked her away in a tower where only he could see her, and he enjoyed the sick hobby of cutting her to watch the crimson blood flow against her porcelain skin. The constant suffering was too much for her, and in the end, she ended up taking her own life. Because of the injustices committed upon her, her spirit could not rest. She then rose from the grave and began feeding upon the blood of young men in a blind rage of vengeance. It's said she draws them out to the forest with a haunting siren song where she then pounces and drains them of their blood until dead. Number 9. The Ban Nia The Ban Nia, or washerwoman, is a creature that at first seems harmless enough, but in reality serves a grim purpose. Usually found by a river or loch, she would sing a wailing and heartbreaking lament while washing bloodied clothes in the water. These clothes belonged to someone who was about to die. They could belong to a friend, a family member, or even you. Though not dangerous if left alone, trying to interfere with a Banya's washing could put you in grave danger. Though if successful, you could postpone or possibly even prevent the death. But is that chance worth potentially dying by the creature's hands yourself? Number 8. Faucon Also known as Peg Leg Jack, this ferocious creature is described as having one leg, one hand in the center of its chest, a single wild eye at the center of its head, and a crown of blue feathers. It's also said to carry a vicious club or flail covered in chains, spikes, and tipped in poison. This creature was said to be so fearsome to gaze upon, a single glance could stop a grown man's heart. It was said to be violent and bitter because unlike many other fae, it was not blessed with the gift of flight, despite being covered in feathers. Seeing this as a mockery of the gods, it lurks on mountaintops, waiting for travelers to attack and take its rage out upon. Number 7. Kelpies The Kelpies were said to be extremely dangerous, shape-shifting water spirits. These vengeful spirits are said to watch over rivers, lakes, and seas. It's possible that their hatred for humankind comes from the destruction and pollution of their home. Most often, Kelpies take the appearance of beautiful wild horses and attempt to lure in curious victims. Kelpies are said to be especially dangerous to children. They often lure them in by appearing as a friendly wild horse, encouraging the child to climb on their back for a ride. However, 
Once the child is on, the kelpie skin becomes sticky, trapping them. It then drags the child beneath the nearest body of water where it drowns and eats them. Despite taking the forms of such gentle creatures, kelpies are deadly and malignant entities that are to be avoided at all costs. Number 6. Linanchi The Linanchi is a type of vampiric fae that feeds upon helpless men. It's said that they live on the Isle of Man and draw in their victims by disguising themselves as beautiful young women. Once they've captured the attention of a potential victim, they will attempt to seduce him. If successful, this dangerous phase magic will cause the man to fall hopelessly in love with it, and if unsuccessful, the Linanchi will violently strangle the man to death and then drain his body entirely of blood. That being said, it's not smooth sailing for the victims who do fall in love with it. Slowly, the Linanchi will begin draining his life force, eventually leaving him an empty shell. During this process, it will also collect his blood and store it in a boiling red cauldron. This is the source of its power, allowing the Fae to shapeshift and keeping it young and beautiful. Number 5. Storm Hag Believed to be a sort of vengeful water spirit, the storm hag is said to be an incredibly dangerous entity to those taking passage through open waters. It is said that when an extremely treacherous and violent storm whips up suddenly from out of nowhere, the storm hag is to blame. Supposedly, she lives at the bottom of a great lake. She is a vile demon with pale green skin, sharp shark's teeth, and yellow eyes that reflect in the dark like a cat's. She's said to have long skinny arms with nails tipped in a paralyzing poison. It's said that when the storm hag spots a vessel she wishes to attack, she'll sing a luring song over the waves, summoning a great storm. The storm will then rock the boat violently, knocking sailors overboard where the storm hag will begin to feast upon them. Number 4. Banshee The Banshee, or as English has changed the spelling, Banshee, is a type of fae that are said to announce or even bring about death by wailing hysterically. Described as either a stately matron, a rattled old hag, or even a young maiden, banshees are said to be mainly cloaked in grey with long, wild hair. They are said to wail near the home of someone who is soon to die. Though it's also possible to randomly encounter one elsewhere. Though not openly hostile towards humans, you would never want to actually encounter one yourself. It said that just hearing the wail could shorten your own lifespan, if not kill you. It's particularly concerning when a group of Banshee are heard, as this heralds the death of a person of great importance. Number 3. Dulahan. Yet another foreteller of death, Dulahans have been made internationally known and popularized by media such as The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. These headless spirits ride upon ferocious black horses with fiery red eyes, carrying their own severed head under one arm. It's said that when the sound of pounding hooves thunder through the streets, but no horse or rider is to be seen, it is a Dulahan, foretelling a death soon to come. Sometimes these frightening creatures will even shout out the name of the person who is to perish. And worse yet, Whenever this frightful rider stops, a mortal dies. There is said to be no defense against these terrifying creatures except for an item of pure gold. Number 2. Redcaps Also known as Dunters or Powries, Redcaps are easily some of the most vile and dangerous of all the Fae. The entire existence of a redcap is to murder. They find joy in robbing other creatures of life. Through slaughter, they gain strength and fuel their own life force by dipping their caps into puddles of fresh blood, 
staining them a deeper red. Red caps often hide in the ruins of old structures and castles, waiting to attack unknowing travelers. They will use countless cruel methods to kill their victims, such as ambushing them or pushing boulders on them from above. These vicious creatures possess sharp claws, teeth, and unnatural speed. It is said to be impossible to outrun one of these merciless creatures. Number 1. Nukalavi Considered to be the most vile and horrifying Scottish monsters by some, the Nukalavi is truly a creature of nightmares. Almost like a bizarre twist on a centaur, this creature is half man and half horse. However, in this case, it's more as if a rider had fused with his horse, as the demonic horse still has its head, and it's just the man's legless torso attached. What's worse, they are rotting and completely skinless. Muscle and tendons are fully exposed, making for a truly terrifying visage. Existing seemingly only to inflict suffering, this hellish creature is credited with being responsible for disasters, droughts, disease, and the incredibly violent murder of any humans unfortunate enough to cross its path. Well, that will certainly change the way you look at fairies. Not exactly happily ever after material. Are you familiar with these ferocious entities? Did I perhaps miss your favorite fae in my countdown? Feel free to share below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, and perhaps subscribing if you're new here. As always, there's new uploads every Monday and Friday for those of you hungry for more horror. But that's all the time we have for today's video. Until next time, stay creepy.